I'm so excited. We actually, it is December and we have the January Japan crate already. I'm so amped. I was initially going to take this week off because I've had like no time to film, but I'm doing this on my lunch break. <sighs> so it's going to be a little bit faster than usual. We're uh, not going to rush. We're not going to rush. I do need to say this lady is married now. I am. And I have a job. So... That being said, I'm just going to jump straight into it. It's a new year. Japan Crate's got some good stuff. Oh, I see a beverage already. I'm very excited. So we have... Oh, don't we have that apple Coke for me to drink? Uh, yeah, it's in here. It's in okay. Here. December's Japan Crate is literally right there. Oh, anyway, first thing we've got, and I seem to remember this. This, I'm actually pulling out. This is the from the original crate. This is Funny Soft Candy. This is the DIY for the month. It looks super cute. But I don't have time for a DIY. We are on. Uh, we are on a. a Holy a potatoes! Okay. Bonus for the premium crate for the month. These are Kit Kat Mini Party Ice Cream. Trial right now. I don't care. I love party ice cream cake. Whatever. I love, <laughs> I love cake. Party. I love party. I All love right. party. This is from the mini crate. This is Fuku Fuku candy. Oh, okay. It's got a uh, Maneki Neko on it because it's supposed to be good luck. This is, this is going to be from the original crate. This is Doraemon gum. Oh, that one's Doraemon. Yeah, the blue one, the blue cat man is Doraemon. Is that a cat? Uh, it's a cat, yeah. This is, ooh, I think we've had these before. This is from the mini crate. This is Almond Mochi Choco. Oh, yeah, we've had those. They're good. I, I'm, ooh, I kind of want to put them in the trial, but I also kind of don't. Wait, well, we've had it before. Oh, no, so Karen, it's... our nemesis. Which nemesis? The is nemesis. it Mike Popcorn? Mike Popcorn from the original crate. Mm. This is Gyokura and Kanbu Tea flavor. You gotta put it in the trial, because oh, we gotta try the Mike Popcorn. Why is Mike Popcorn? It might be good! This is, this is from the premium crate. This is 1-2 Chocolate. Which, I mean, it looks kind of like a Kit Kat, but like a budget Kit Kat. So I'm gonna put that one to the side. This is from the original crate. This is Crispy Chocolate. It's got like a little dinosaur mascot on it, and that's very cute. Ah, here is... <gasps> this is from the premium crate. This is Coca-Cola Zero Caffeine Ribbon Bottle. At least can have it! Oh my gosh, it's caffeine free. Oh, I'm so excited. I usually don't do soda because it's caffeinated and I don't do caffeine. But that's supposed to be caffeine free. <sighs> oh, what are you? This is from the mini crate. This is a fortune telling Mont Blanc, which it just kind of looks like a tiny individually wrapped chocolate. Oh, it's a ch I thought it was going to be one of those gummy slurps. You mean like this? Oh yeah, one of those. <laughs> this is from the premium crate. It's a cider ball and I love these. They're basically like little baseball shaped jello shots without the shots. It's a I single dosage of jello. I think the term gummy slurp is much more appropriate than jello shot. This is from the mini crate. This is grape dongori gum. Mm. This is from the premium crate. This is Candemina honey lemon soda. Ooh. They're like little, um. Is it a candy or is it a drink? They powder? are soda flavored gummies, but oh, it's not. Okay. It's not, um, what's the usual soda we get? Ramune? Yeah, it's not ramune this time. This is from the premium crate. This is Takenoko no Sato Village Double Nut Cake. I'm gonna eat those. I just laughed really hard at the phrase double nut. This is from the premium crate. This is Akabe Gum. It's a little gumball, gum stick. It changes the color of your tongue. These. Oh, is, isn't that one fortune telling? No, the, uh, the other one is. This is from the premium crate as well. This is fettuccine gummy Cassis orange flavor. I'm excited for that. Ooh. Uh, like we've these? had other fettuccine gummies, and they've oh, always been really nice. Oh, dear. What? I'm so over... I am not going to eat these before going back to work, so as much as I want to put these in the trial, oh. I'm not going to. No, put, these... put them in the trial. And no, Karen. No. Because they are garlic kataage potato chips. I cannot afford to have garlic breath going back to work. Why? Who are you smooching? Uh, no, it's who am I sitting? Where am I sitting? Oh. We're a little too close together to be able to pull that off. And this 
This is from the original crate. This is chocolate soft. It's a little ice cream cone. Ooh. Is that the last thing? It's the last thing. Well, we got yeah. three things in the trial. And we will be right back with the taste test. So stay tuned. Okay, we're back. We have three things in the trial. Um, and I'm going to do sweet, sweet, savory this time. Because I... Sweet, sweet, savory, baby. I don't want to deal with Mike Popcorn until I have to deal with Mike Popcorn. Um, if you are a regular viewer of this channel, you will know... This smells so strongly of, like, milk. But if you're a regular viewer of this channel and my Japan Crate reviews, you will know the fun we've, times we have had with Mike Popcorn in the past. We've gotten some atrocious stuff from Mike Popcorn. Yeah, so I think we got one nice flavor once. Yeah. But at least didn't get it on video. Yeah. Yeah. We just ate so it So these later. are the birthday cake ice, the party ice cream flavored Kit Kats. They smell really wonderful. They smell super good. Listen, I know I'm a Kit Kat heathen. I don't care. You should see my face right now. She's so mad. These are so good. They taste like Carvel ice cream cake. Mm. Yeah, they don't. It's not white chocolate. Yeah. It's literally like ice cream flavored chocolate. How do they do that? For those of you at home not eating these, uh, if you've had the like chewy milk candy or the hard milk candy. Yeah, it tastes a lot like Japanese milk candy. And that's not a bad thing because milk candy is delicious. Mm hmm. It's like the stage right before it would become caramel, like pull it and they're like, it's candy now. We're done. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's one of my faves. So these are really excellent. And I'm glad, I'm glad that they've been like giving us full bags of Kit Kats lately. All right. So these are the honey lemon gummies or honey lemon soda gummies. Oh, oh, they're little, they're little and they're like shaped like teddy bears. I don't know if that'll pick up on camera. Sort of. Are they powdered on the outside? A little bit. Oh, they've got like a, Ooh. probably like a citric acid mm -hmm. on the outside. Mmm. So this is a very tough gummy. The The lemon part is definitely on the outside more. That's the citric acid. Woohoo! Yeah. Very tart. It's very tart But then the it outside. mellows to a super, super pleasant, like the gummy itself is honey flavor. Oh, it looks like you could get other shapes. Oh, I got bears. But we got bear. It looks like on the back there's uh, like bunny and bird and horse and. I'm, mm, I'm, I'm gonna jump these. right into my popcorn. But please trust that these gummies are very nice. It's it's a, a it's not as strong as a warhead. Why? Oh, there's a little angry bear on the bottom. I can't get this stinking popcorn open. Use one of your dagger nails. No, there we go. I I don't remember. What is this supposed to be? This is some tea. Kelp tea flavored ice cream. Kelp ice cream? I mean, kelp tea flavored uh, popcorn. That's actually not bad. What? I know. It's weird. Um, I'll believe it when I taste it. This is gonna sound really dumb, but it's very umami. It just smells like popcorn uh, when you smell the bag. It has a bit of saltiness, and then there's a slight kelpy seaweed flavor as like an aftertaste, but that's surprisingly edible, but not according to Karen's face. It's just popcorn that tastes a little worse than regular popcorn. <laughs> Listen, this is Mike popcorn. I gotta give it a little credit for actually being edible this time. Yeah, it is definitely edible. Ooh, it's gummies though. I will say um, it does not taste seafoody. No, it doesn't so taste seafoody. It tastes like marine. Tastes like soup. Tastes like soup. And you know when you think of it, savory tea is just soup. Okay. That being said, you guys, um, everything we tried today was edible and good. So I recommend all three. Um, even the Mike popcorn. I don't, even the Mike popcorn. I don't believe it. But. I'm going to call it for this video. Uh, like I said, I do have to get back to work. So we're making it a little faster than usual. Uh, 
If you are interested in seeing more Japan crates or perhaps signing up for Japan crate for yourself, I will have a link in the description. I do have a referral code in the description. It's not like an affiliate. I don't really get kickback for it more than anybody else does. But if you're interested in trying it, highly recommend. Japan crate is always a good. It's always classic. My social media links are in the description below. If you'd like to see more from this channel, more unboxings, more taste tests, and we do have another Japanese taste test coming up this month, hit the little subscribe button. Click the little bell, because if you want to stay in the know, the bell's the way to go. Likes and comments, let me know to keep doing what I'm doing, and I'll see you in the next video. Later!